Mission specialist Laurel Clark is also a naval flight surgeon and is making her first space flight. Clark, a commander in the Navy, was born in Ames, Iowa, but calls Racine, Wisconsin her hometown. She remembers watching the moon landings while growing up, but she says at the time the thought of becoming an astronaut didn't occur to her. I was very interested in, in environment and ecosystems and animals, and that eventually uh, shown through in my interest in zoology as an undergraduate and then decided to pursue medicine. Clark earned a bachelor's degree in zoology and a doctorate in medicine from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. She went on to train as a pediatrician at Naval Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland. She was then assigned as a Naval Radiation Health Officer and Undersea Medical Officer in Holy Lock, Scotland. In that job, she evacuated submarine personnel out at sea who needed medical attention. Well, if you have medical problems, then you're not allowed to continue in the submarine service because you're out at sea for long periods of time. There were certain times when I, was, I had to be involved in getting people off the submarine and getting them to hospitals for further medical care. After more training, Clark became a naval flight surgeon. And then, after taking an inventory of her experience, she applied to NASA and was selected in 1996. Clark is excited about the potential benefits of all the research on STS-107, especially the studies on osteoporosis. I have a family history of osteoporosis that goes back several different generations, and uh, I like to think that we'll be learning some things that will help uh, not only my family, but the other millions of Americans that are affected by osteoporosis.